In this video, I'll be unboxing the new Apple USB SuperDrive. So this is the new Apple USB SuperDrive. It came out yesterday. It's pretty much the same thing as before, but the old version of this was called the MacBook Air SuperDrive. Now this is called the USB SuperDrive as it's also for the Mac Mini and the MacBook Pro, the Retina Display, and the MacBook Air, which all don't have disk drives. So going around the box, we just have USB Super Drive and a picture of the Super Drive itself. Apple logo on the side, and Apple logo on the other side. Going around the back of the box, here we have a 15-inch MacBook Pro with Retina display, and it just shows the Super Drive being plugged in and a DVD going into it. And we just have the price tag here of $89. Use a real man's knife to unbox this thing, and let's get started. Rip off all that plastic. And here is the Super Drive itself. Wrapped up in plastic, got a handy little pull tab. There we go. There's the Super Drive. And we'll go ahead and pull out the documentation. Set the box off to the side. Here we have USB Super Drive, just a little manual. Go and open that up. And it just says, choose software update from the Apple menu to update your system. Uh, software to latest version. Attach Apple USB Super Drive to a USB port on your computer. And that's about it. And just a little boring booklet on the Apple one year limited warranty. Strangely enough, you don't get Apple stickers with the Super Drive. And it's very lightweight, just as a first impression. Go ahead and turn around the back and tear off all the plastic. There we go. It's actually very cold because it's made out of aluminium. Very nice. So up front, we have that slot. This is a slot loading drive, not a tray, which is very nice. On the sides, we've got nothing at all. And on the back, we just have sort of a plasticky, rubbery back with an Apple logo. As you can see, the back appears to be a fingerprint magnet. So this looks very nice for an uh, external uh, DVD drive. And yes, this is DVD, no Blu-ray here. Apple have never adopted uh, that technology. And we've got a short little USB cable, because obviously this is designed to plug into a laptop. So I've got out my MacBook Air 2012, which I just unboxed. Check out my channel for all the coverage on the MacBook Air and, of course, the new 15-inch Retina Display MacBook Pro, which I'll be getting into review tomorrow. So we'll go ahead and connect the USB Super Drive to my new 2012 MacBook Air and go ahead and pop in Rise of the Planet of the Apes. And as you can see right here, you just slot it in. There's no tray or anything. You just give it a push. Then it eats up the disk. And as you can see, the disc is playing just fine. So that is the Apple USB Super Drive. Go ahead and quit that. And as you may have noticed, the USB Super Drive actually doesn't have any buttons on it whatsoever. So to eject the disc, you simply um, can go into Finder and hit eject. It's that easy. So that's just about it for the unboxing of the Apple USB SuperDrive. Stay tuned to a full review on the SuperDrive itself. Stay tuned for much more coverage of the 11-inch MacBook Air, including a FaceTime HD camera test, and of course a full review. And of course, click that subscribe button right above for coverage of the new MacBook Pro 15-inch with Retina display coming up very soon. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up as I really appreciate it and you want to see more videos coming out. Drop a comment down below and follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash iTechEverything. Follow me, then you'll be able to see when all the videos come out, as well as my comments occasionally. 